It's a bit like an endurance race itself, getting through scrutineering at Le Mans, but it's magical to be here. The crowds are great, we've got a lot of support, obviously. Last year we had a really good result, so that's generated a lot more support this year for Straka. Well, you just can't knock the enthusiasm because uh, it's been raining here today, it's, even though it's quite warm, and they're still out in their hundreds watching and, and shouting you on, cheering you on, and they want to hear what you say in the interview. This is where you start to sense that the weekend's really starting to kick off. Um, and it's all very exciting, and probably got the worst bit out of the way now, the scrutineering part, so we've got our band, that means we can go racing. So yeah, crack on and let's, let's get on with the driving part. It's obviously a fairly detailed admin um, driver check in terms of kit, helmets, licences. Uh, once all the admin work's done as well, then the car is obviously stringently checked by the scrutineers to make sure it's legal, make sure it's safe. Obviously there's various electrical and data systems that are also checked as well, so the scrutineers can monitor the car during, its, uh, during the 24-hour race as well. have to go through to make sure that the engine and gearbox and everything that uh, constitutes the whole race car is, is still within the regulations. Obviously it's a very tight race out there, everyone's trying to gain every advantage they can, so the regulations are strictly controlled. It's unusual for a car to go through scrutineering so smoothly. Um, we've, we've gone through with a, a clean bill of health and a lot of tick boxes, so uh, the boys have done a great job and really deserve a good pat on the back because of that. We now go back to the garage and we'll get ready for uh, running on Wednesday, so there's a lot more preparation to be done. The car's legal, but it's not ready to race yet, so uh, got a bit more to do yet.